Hey everybody, Ace Fangirl here, and welcome back to another episode of Holiday Star Blind. Last time, we set up the plan for the Christmas Eve to be trapped at Sakia's house when we were just going to go... Let me try that again. Uh, we were going to show off the Christmas tree at Saki's house to trap the Christmas thieves. Uh, and they kind of showed up and left us a note saying, like, we want the Christmas tree. And we were like, uh, no, we're not just going to give you the Christmas tree. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of the plan. So then they showed up in a tank, which, in my opinion, kind of escalated things way too quickly. Um, but uh, Yuya showed up with a gun. Damn. And, uh kind of tried to shoot them or something. I'm really not sure. And we thought they were down for the count. But then they reconnected some wires and their tank just started working again, which is random. And now two showed up. Also, there was lots of flirting involved between me and Yuya. And mostly Yuya at me. And then Yuya and Saki are kind of having a little fight over me right now, which is kind of cute. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that works out. We can talk about this later, boys. Now, Shu, what the ever-loving heck do you want... Why? How did you even get here? Yes, hi, I know, you're here. What do you want? Who would have expected him to show up here? My thoughts exactly, Diana. I didn't even know he was going to show up. Yes, hello. Yes, I know who he is. I don't know why he's here. Look at his little, look at his little straps. He's so cute. Ugh, love him. Hello. Oh, good, yes, we know. Ryota was there. Um, okay... Um, I don't know if I want that. Uh, okay, uh, I can't really see his face in the dark- why is this music so loud? I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. Maybe he's in a bad mood again. But not even the doctor would bluff about something like this, right? Oh, you did not! You did not just insult my man! You did not! Finger snap, you're a jerk, I don't like you. Do I have to choose if I want his help? Yeah, I know, right, babe? If. I mean. <sighs> okay, Sakia, now who's escalating things quickly? Sakia, no! They're doing bad things, but I can never live with myself if I let you kill something that adorable. Oh, alright. Yes, hi, that would be me. Hello. Yes. The doctor tosses a ball, or rather a sort of oblong metallic lump to me. Throw it at the- No, why do I have to do it? Do I have to take responsibility for whatever happens after that? Because if it's a bomb, um, I don't want to do that. I think you should throw it. Ah, uh, it's a grenade. <laughs> um, I don't want to take responsibility for this. Leave it to me, so apparently I'm totally fine with it. Hey, yeah! Look! Look, I did it! Um, I don't know if that's something I should be super happy about. Hole in one! Yeah! Thanks? Thank you. You know, I pride myself on it. I don't know. What did that do? There was no explosion? Was it like sleeping powder or something? Oh my god! What? Huh? The tank is swathed in some sort of- Oh my god, I feel like a horrible person. What? Yeah, seriously, we kinda need to get out of here. Can you stand, Yuya? We need to get- The gas is spreading throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and send out guards with gas masks. That works. I'll take it. Huh? Oh no! Oh no, this is so sad! Um, they're playing Okasan's music and that just made it less sad, I think. Oh no, poor Bibu's. The tank hatch opens and the two white creatures stagger out. Oh, they look terrible! Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's not usually what you define tear gas as, but okay, that's fine. Oh, that's why he was asking me if I was allergic. 
great. Okay. You know what? That was some nice thinking. You did not miserably fail, baby. You did not. You were great. You did so good. You're an exemplary teacher. You're welcome, you know? <laughs> these two interact so awkwardly. I love it. Sir, how did you know so much about these previously unidentified creatures? Are you behind the Christmas thieves? Looks like he's still in a bad mood. He's staring off into space. Were the tests he was doing this afternoon for this? If so, it was an undeniable success. Shouldn't he be happy? They're ours now! Tie them up! Yay? We win? I guess? And so, our freezing midnight war came to an end. Of sorts. <laughs> oh god, Saki is probably going to kill them. All they can say is Merry Christmas, yo. Seriously. You won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Miru. Kaku. Merry Christmas. Miru and Kaku. That's all? Shoo, don't look so creepy behind them. Seriously. It's weird. Why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist commercialized rubbish, but there are plenty of birds who really care about it. Someone said it. Thank you. And it was me. It's not nice to ruin their fun. Okay. Oh no, are we gonna get a sad backstory? Oh my god, I love this music, it's so good. I gotta turn it up. This is such good music. They told Miru and Kaku that- th They told Miru and Kaku they were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life. But, they were born. On Christmas Eve. Oh god, all of this is, like, really freaking me out, because I'm getting flashbacks. Because they weren't meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. Oh god. Why is everything- why does everything have to take such a dark turn? Miru and Kaku aren't real. Miru and Kaku are alive, but Miru and Kaku are different. So Miru and Kaku couldn't be put outside. But Miru and Kaku couldn't stay. So Mido and Kaku were going to be burned. Oh, God. That's horrible. So Mido and Kaku said goodbye. Mido and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed they had a backstory like that. It's too cruel, Doctor. To create pitiful hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments and then try... And then to try to kill them? Well, you know, good thing that wasn't actually said, but I kind of assumed. Maybe you felt your creation violated the laws of nature, but artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. They have the right to- Oh. Okay. Never mind. What? He's not? Oh, I just kind of assumed. Never mind. I thought I was being clever, but I think I've made a terrible mistake. Oh. Oh. They look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is... What? What? I'm so confused. Oh. Okay. That's still rude. And horrible. What did he do? I'm so confused. Also, this music's getting loud. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably. But they're unidentified creatures, born of the excesses of modern science. Can they even have trials? I think everyone can have trials. Oh. Okay, fine. So then... We hire Phoenix, right? 
Um. Ugh. Yeah! I knew that was coming! I object! They may have done some bad things, but nobody was badly injured. The worst was Yuya's burn. We can't just kill them. Yeah? What is it? Uh... I don't know if I like that plan. We can't, Sakia. Giving them to him is setting him to a fate worse than death, no matter how you look at it. What are you going to do with them? What are you going to do with them? No oh, God, you have to add that on the end, don't you? In other words, you probably will later. Alright, apparently Sakia is in charge here. And make sure to tell us where you hid Mr. Urushihara's Christmas tree, okay? Um, can you tell us? And so, with the help of Dr. Iwamine and Yuya, we capture the Christmas thieves Miru and Kaku. No one need fear for their decorations again. But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Normally he would have asked for something. Yeah, I remember. Don't ask me that. Maybe it was his idea of a Christmas present? Oh, 3 a.m. already? That's way too late. We got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, so I should go home to eat udon and sleep. Amen to that, sister. Let's do it. What? Yeah? Why are they in the sky? <laughs> Is he their caretaker? Ryota's dad. <laughs> oh, so much of me wants to shit them, but it's so wrong. I don't like it, but, like, they're really kind of cute. It's conflicting. I don't know. We got your Christmas tree back. You're welcome. It was our pleasure. Yeah, some shirt's sure great. I'm so glad yours is intact. Sockies was completely incinerated. Yeah, that's true. He got his big one. That's fine. Oh no, our date's over. Yay! Ryota gets to keep his job! That's great. I'm really glad. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to their owners and now I'm feeling cheerful. Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend it having fun with everybody. Winter break starts tomorrow, too. I'm excited just thinking about it. What happened to Miru and Kaku, anyway? Did the doctor take them to his house? That seems pretty cute. Dr. Omine living with the seasonal mascot characters. No, it's too surreal. I can't imagine it. I do wonder, though. I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Oh, no, I don't want to. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's decorated. It has little ornaments. What? <laughs> the infirmary's transformed! S sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas than Sakia? Oh, my lord, he has a Santa hat. I don't know what to think. I love it. Uh, Christmas is not superstition. The doctor's transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage? Sir, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got that lobotomy. <laughs> oh, they keep giving him Christmas hat. Or they keep giving him Santa hats. All right, fine. I don't. I respect that. They. So Miru and Kaku are. Hi. Hello. They're here. You're keeping them in here, sir. You know that's true. Yep, that's also true. Grumpy as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads staying attached for much longer. Haha, <laughs> reference to the previous game. Yeah, that's true. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir. Maybe I'm imagining it, but you don't quite look like you mean it, sir. It's like that he thinks they'll calm down. Or, <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, no, that's sad. No. It doesn't look like he's using them for research. What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely, though. I've never seen him act that nice. Maybe he likes cute animals? I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. You're welcome. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, guys! Oh! Oh, well, that's the end! Aw, that was cute! That was fun. I liked that. Oh! And now we're back on the main page. So, next time, we are going to do... Oh, look who is coming back. Angel, that's who. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what this is for. I don't know. Uh, anyways, Angel. Oh no, it's going to be an Angel-centered story. It's going to be insane, and you do not want to miss this. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you guys then. Bye!